Nothing fascinates the human mind more than conspiracies and a subtle promise of hidden truth. One such speculative tale evolves around a subject already shrouded with conspiracy and legend, the Apollo moon landings. Did you know that despite the success of the Apollo 17 mission, NASA canceled Apollo 18, 19, and 20 missions on the premise of budget cuts? However, in 2007, a mysterious figure shared a video on YouTube claiming it was evidence of a secret Apollo 20 mission that was sent to the moon to study an ancient alien spaceship. The videos sent shockwaves across the country as they showed an alleged alien woman dubbed Mona Lisa inside the spaceship on the moon. Was NASA really involved in a secret moon mission that we don't know of? Were the videos shared by the anonymous source real or an elaborate fabrication? It's time to lift the veil from the canceled Apollo 20 moon mission. According to official records, the last time a crewed mission was sent to the moon was in December 1972, aboard Apollo 17. Astronauts Eugene Cernan and Harrison Schmidt spent a record-breaking three days on the lunar surface, marking the end of a zealous era of space exploration. But that wasn't supposed to be the end of it. NASA had planned future Apollo missions and was already working on constructing the spacecraft. However, it suddenly announced that all Apollo missions were canceled due to decreased public interest and budget cuts. Space enthusiasts were not happy with this news, especially when the U.S. was already on a winning streak with successful moon missions one after another. Imagine what we could have achieved if the program had continued. Maybe we would have inhabited the moon by now or explored its dark side which has long been rumored to contain remnants of an ancient alien civilization. In 2007, a mysterious figure took to the video-sharing website YouTube to share bizarre videos of an event that officially never happened. The user called himself Retired AFB and posted a number of videos, claiming that it was footage of a secret Apollo 20 mission jointly operated by U.S. and Soviet astronauts. Retired DAFB confessed that the U.S. returned to the moon even after NASA publicly announced that Apollo 18, 19, and 20 missions were canceled. The reason for this secrecy was that they needed to study alien structures they had found in earlier missions. According to the user, Mission Apollo 20 was sent to the moon in August 1976 to investigate the moon's dark side, and images supposedly taken by Apollo 15 showed what appeared to be a massive ancient city with a gigantic crash spacecraft. Retired AFB identified himself as one of the astronauts of the Apollo 20 mission, and he confessed he was a retired NASA astronaut currently in exile in Rwanda. He said his name was William Rutledge, and his crew members were Leona Marietta Snyder and Alexei Leonov. Rutledge's claim sounded extraordinary, and it was hard to believe everything he was saying considering there had never even been a rumor about an Apollo 20 mission. However, when he mentioned Leonov's name as one of the astronauts on the mission, people began to listen. After all, Alexei Leonov was a decorated Soviet and Russian cosmonaut and also the first person to conduct a spacewalk for 12 minutes and 9 seconds. He also commanded the Soyuz capsule in the Apollo-Soyuz mission, which docked in space for two days with an American Apollo capsule. If Rutledge was making the whole story up, why would he take Leonov's name since all someone had to do was ask him if there was ever a secret Apollo 20 mission? Was he really telling the truth? You'll find out soon enough. The alleged astronaut shared a short clip that showed the interior of an Apollo spacecraft. You can see an orange porthole looking out into space, which looks almost identical to actual known photographs of the Apollo craft. The next shot is of a control panel, which again matches other Apollo missions. Can you spot the flag in the footage? It's a combination of the American and Soviet flag. The patch shows the title Apollo 20, and the astronauts' names are at the bottom. Apart from the video that showed the interior of the Apollo spacecraft, Rutledge also posted videos showing an alien city and a flyover of a massive cigar-shaped spaceship. Interestingly, this is the same spaceship that looked like a swath of lunar landscape in an official Apollo image taken on the moon's far side. This image is currently available to the public. While it may look inconspicuous at first, if you look closely, you can identify a two-mile-long object almost blending into the surrounding lunar surface. Apparently, Apollo 20's mission was to breach this ancient spacecraft on the moon that allegedly crashed some 1.5 billion years ago. 
Over time, Rutledge shared more footage, images, and excerpts from his journal, but the most shocking video was of the Apollo 20 crew actually exploring the interior of the crashed ship. The video not only showed the bizarre insides of the ancient craft, but also the body of a young woman, partially mummified with a thin layer of a waxy substance covering its skin. The astronauts named her Mona Lisa, and it appeared she was locked into the spacecraft's controls by a device connected to her eyes and nose. Rutledge's video challenged the mainstream narrative that extraterrestrials don't exist. In fact, it exposed a massive lie NASA and the U.S. government had been telling the world for decades. But was the video actual footage? That's the main question. After Rutledge released these explosive videos on YouTube, Italian journalist Luca Scantamberlo reached out to him for an interview. During the interview, Rutledge revealed further details about the extraterrestrial biological entity the Apollo 20 mission encountered. He confessed that the alien entity appeared to be neither alive nor dead. In fact, she looked as if she was in a state of suspended animation. According to Rutledge, the crew disconnected the woman from the navigational device and brought the body back to Earth, where it remained securely hidden. He told the interviewer that the alien craft they found was a mothership. It was ancient, probably a billion years old. As you can imagine, Rutledge's videos garnered millions of hits. But what's suspicious is that his account was hacked right after he made these astonishing claims from his account. Not only was his account hacked, but all the videos were deleted. Was NASA trying to hide the truth from the public again? That's what Rutledge's viewers thought, and multiple mirrored versions of the videos began appearing on different websites. So whatever NASA tried to do by deleting the videos from Rutledge's account didn't work. But was NASA ever involved in the first place? It's time to separate the facts from fiction. Are you ready for it? Although Rutledge concocted a brilliant story, we think he went a little too far with the art of deception. A few months after these alarming videos became public, French sculptor Thierry Speth stepped forward and claimed responsibility for the Apollo 20 hoax on an internet bulletin board. In an interview, he even showed the sculpture of the alien called Mona Lisa. But here's the twist. Despite Speth's admission that he cooked the whole story up, Rutledge's believers did not stop posting the images and videos on various internet forums, endorsing it as an actual event. Why do you think the story continued to live on even after Speth's confession? One line of reasoning is that Speth was a distraction created by NASA itself to invalidate Rutledge's story. Do you think the confession was NASA's attempt at damage limitation or spreading misinformation? Probably not. While NASA is rumored to conceal many secrets related to extraterrestrials, the video footage provided by Rutledge had too many loopholes to make it look real. First. The hoaxer used existing NASA photos of the moon to create new footage with additional fictional elements. Many shots of the moon's surface used in the videos are unmistakably composites using NASA photographs. Secondly, the panning shot, which shows a vast alien city on the lunar surface, is actually a digital composite created from an Apollo 17 moon photo combined with a painting of an alien landscape by artist Bruce Pennington. The part where you can see the alleged alien mothership was probably filmed using models. And the highlight of all the videos, the Mona Lisa, is, in all likelihood, a clay sculpture created by Speth to excite viewers. Interestingly, she bears all the hallmarks of the artist's previous works and can in no way pass as a real body, as seen in most shots in the video. And then, how can we ignore the irresponsible attitude of the astronauts towards the alien body? They did not follow any quarantine controls and performed crude medical procedures that would never be permissible in a real NASA mission. Undoubtedly, the story of Apollo 20 and its secret mission to investigate an ancient alien spacecraft is truly fantastic, but it's not true. Why do you think this incredible yet fake adventure to the dark side of the moon is still making rounds, regardless of the facts? Let us know your opinion in the comments below. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell for more videos.